Indonesia's island of Java is a dynamic place consisting of a mix of brilliant cultural heritage as well as a marvelous natural environment. Kawa Ijen is home to golden sulfur and an extreme way of life. The beautiful sea enriches one's mind just by looking at it. And I'm on my way to discover active volcanoes where one can experience the coarse breath of the great outdoors. Today I'm heading for the hot fiery lands of Bromo, where the god of fire is said to live, and Sumeru, which is nicknamed the center of the world. Indonesia, with 17,000 islands and over 400 volcanoes, has the highest number of islands and volcanoes in the world. At the heart is the island of Java, where you can find the most active volcanoes among them. Today's journey begins at Probolinggo, the gateway city to Bromo Tengger Sumero National Park. Indonesia is located on a volcanic zone called the Ring of Fire and is home to over 400 volcanoes. There are over 70 active volcanoes alone. You can particularly find many active volcanoes emitting smoke on Java, where a volcano range cuts through the island. Probolinggo is a gateway city where you can find such volcanoes. This is Probolinggo. This is the Semeru Wasan or Brumo Wasan. All the travelers have to go to this place. The city bustles with tourists who come to see the volcanoes year-round so events, both large and small, persist non-stop. The children are holding a street performance to promote their school. I stop for a moment to watch because the children playing instruments with their babyish fingers are so cute. They're quite good, aren't they? <laughs> Leaving behind the short encounter with the children, I head to the market next. <laughs> I have some things to prepare before climbing Mount Bromo. Ah, here are the trees. Ah, Buggy? Since long ago, Mount Bromo has been revered as a sacred mountain among the Tengur people, natives of the region. They have been offering flowers since many years ago, believing that the gods live in the crater. 네, 부르모화산 정상에 올라가서 이 분화구에 이 꽃이나 이 쌀을 뿌리면 그게 행복을 기원하는 의미라고 해요. 그래서 저도 꽃을 좀 사가려고요. 이 정도면 되겠죠? Mount Bromo is said to be the home of the fire god. I can't wait to see what it's like. I arrive at Bromo Tengger Sumeru National Park after traveling one and a half hours by car from Probolinggo. In the huge caldera, which is said to have been created by a volcanic eruption long ago, are three volcanoes that unfold like a picture. 
Bromo, an active volcano, and Batok, an inactive volcano, are situated within the caldera. And the highest peak in Java, Mount Sumeru, is also a major attraction in this national park. In this park, which is half the size of Jeju Island in Korea, my first destination is Mount Bromo. It's not an easy road. This is Laut Pasir Tengger, or Tengger Sand Sea, where sand blows fiercely, as if we have encountered a sandstorm in the middle of the desert. This region is made of volcanic sand, which was created by the eruption of Mount Tengger long ago. A group of people on horses comes our way after a little over an hour of travel through the sand sea. However, there is something else that perplexes me. Long ago, after a caldera was formed by a volcanic eruption, more and more ash accumulated with each eruption. The masked men, who look like bandits one would see in a movie, are locals who rent out horses to tourists. You have to either ride a horse or go by foot from here to the Mount Bromo entrance. Stop! Stop! Kunik! Go. Mine is a pony named Gunil. It is so small that I feel sorry for riding it. But apparently it is a perfect mode of transportation in this region because they're so strong. I can see why the natives of this area claimed Mount Bromo to be the home to the gods. The barren sand sea where harsh winds blow gives the impression of a passage that one must pass through in order to reach god territory from the human world. This is as far as you can go on horseback. Just as I'm about to climb the Bromo crater, another sandstorm sweeps violently across the land. I cannot see a thing in front of me. I now realize why people here wear masks. It is time to climb the stairway to heaven, 
The final pass before entering into Mount Bromo. There are 245 steps that lead to the home of the gods. It's steep, in addition to being covered in volcanic ash, making the climb up the steps much more difficult than expected. This I reach the apex just before my breath runs out. The view that unfolds before me leaves me speechless. Wow, this is really amazing. Wow, this nature is really alive. It feels like it. Mount Bromo had another large eruption in 2011. The sulfuric smoke that emits continuously from the ashen crater creates a mystic ambience. There is a legend that has been passed down about this place, which is considered to be the home of Batara Bromo, the god of fire. Long ago, there was a king and queen who promised to sacrifice their youngest to the god. However, they didn't keep that promise, and the god decided to punish them with a disaster. The youngest found out about this and threw himself into the crater of Mount Bromo, saving his country in the process. Since then, people have come here to pray. I too am going to make a wish the way many people have been doing so for numerous years. My second destination within Bromo Tengger Sumero National Park is Penanjakan Viewpoint. Many tourists come into view already at the entrance, as 250,000 people visit here each year. Penanjakan Viewpoint is a famous attraction, known to have the most beautiful sunrises in Indonesia. And you can also get a panoramic view of the major volcanoes in the park. Wow! Wow! Here, when I was looking up, I felt different. I was very difficult to climb. The magnificent view of the volcanic mountains, which blend into one another, is truly one of the world's best.
Before I know it, night has fallen upon us. The peacefulness of the night accompanied by the quiet provides a sense of depth to my travels. 사실 그림 잘못 그리거든요. 또 그렇다고 해서 뭐 글을 잘 특별하게 잘 쓰는 것도 아닌데 하지만 이렇게 여행을 하는 순간만큼은 이렇게 정말 그 감정에 확실하게 몰입이 돼서 누구나 이렇게 어 화가가 되고 누구나 시인이 되어서 정말 가장 행복해질 수 있는 그런 시간이 아닌가 그런 생각이 드네요. It's a grand sunrise that makes you realize that this land is home to the most volcanoes on Earth. Nanti lihat kawahnya yang sering masuk di kalender itu yang kawah sana yang lebih tinggi. Naiknya res dua kali ini. Ibu merasanya bagaimana? Kelihatan itu. Oh ya, cantik. Kelihatannya bagus, bagus. I can't take my eyes off Mount Bromo as it is gradually illuminated by the sunlight. Point the camera that way. Oh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh. People are busy taking pictures of this spectacular sight. Indonesian people are the most beautiful place in the world in the world. As the sunrise at Penangjakan, made even grander with Mount Bromo and Sumeru captured in my heart, I'm off to the highest peak on Java. I head for Mount Sumeru, which means center of the world. On my way from Penangjakan to Sumeru, as I pass the desolate landscape of the ashen sand sea, an unexpected grassland unfolds before me. There are over 400 diverse forms of plant and animal life in this natural environment, making it literally ever-changing. I race for two hours to reach Ranupani village, where the trekking course to Mount Sumeru begins. Oh, you bought it through the maja. But it's crossing the lane there. Bojo. Incidentally, the Tengarese Hindu festival, Hari Raya Karo, is being held in the village. Unlike Indian Hinduism, worship of ancestral gods is stronger here. Every year at the end of harvest, they offer the Jaranan dance to their ancestral gods as thanks for the harvest. It is said that they meet their ancestral gods as they dance in a spiritual trance. Through this ritual, they believe that their ancestral gods will bring them good fortune.
같지가 않아요. 막 진짜로 때리기도 하고 진짜로 도망가는데 잘 공간이 안 가요. I accidentally encounter a Tengarese festival at the foot of Mount Sumeru, the sacred Hindu mountain. I want to stay with the villagers till the end, but I'll have to start off for the trek up the mountain. Ah, oh. yeah. Ah, uh. <laughs> sleep here, okay? Ah, uh, good. Ah, 맛있는 냄새가 나네요. 아, 배고프다. 반야랑 랑 datang mau naik ke Semeru dan makan di sini. <laughs> Terima kasih. Ayo makan, makan bersama. Ayo makan. Terima kasih. Dita's three sons work as guides and porters here. Such accidental encounters become friendly ties while traveling. Okay, maybe for tomorrow it's possible to go to to Semeru. So go enjoy your Semeru. Why not? After dinner, everyone naturally gathers by the fire. Here, when I come to the France Paris friend, how can I get a harmonica to play? 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 the next day. The entrance to Mount Sumeru is already bustling with travelers in the morning. There's a sign here. Hi, excuse me. What is this? If we have some sticker, we can put on this. Oh. So other people can know if uh, we have been here. Oh. Oh. It seems that leaving evidence of oneself is a human instinct. My trek up Mount Sumeru has officially begun. Hiking up Mount Sumeru requires great physical strength because you have to make your way through a tropical rainforest. Di sini kita sampai di mau pos dua. Puh, batu rejeng. Gunung itu ranu kumbolo. However, it is also full of various sites. It is said that over 400 plant species grow wild in this dense forest. And there is also a beautiful lake along the way. Wow. <sighs> This lake was formed in a crater at 2400 meters above sea level. There is a camping site available for those who want to get a bit of rest before climbing further. Not far past the lake, a savanna, or a tropical grassland, unfolds before me. As I climb up and down the mountain ridge, the changing landscape gets so diverse that it doesn't give me a chance to get bored.
와 높은 화산을 오른다고 해서 계속되는 계속되는 오르막길만 생각했는데 야, 이렇게 멋진 초원이 나오니까 굉장히 운치가 있네요. I wonder what kind of landscape will greet me at the end of this road. The meadow trail leads into a pine tree forest. The mountain hike has continued for over five hours. I'm starting to get weary, but just then Rexon, our guide, starts singing to cheer us on. Finally, I spot Mount Sumeru in the distance. It's an active volcano where small-scale eruptions occur each day. Traces of lava at the bottom of the mountain are clearly visible. Apparently, we must start climbing the steep mountain at 11 p.m. in order to see the sunrise. I'm going to be starting on a very tough trek tonight. Fortunately, our campsite is not too far away. Ah, <laughs> 물앞불이 있어가지고 진짜 다행이네요. 아, 아, I thought it would simply be hot because of its location at the equator, but at 2,700 meters above sea level, it is quite chilly when we reach Kalamari. 우선은 비를 피해서 텐트부터 치는 게 급선무인 것 같아요. Kalamari is the final base camp before ascending Mount Sumeru. With a tough hike ahead, I get a yearning for some human companionship. Hi. Yes. Uh, I'm from Korea. Yes. Uh, I'm alone. So, can you can I join? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Thank you. This group from Jakarta openly accepts me into their company. <laughs> we make plan to trip together oh. to celebrate our hospital oh. anniversary. Oh, I'm alone. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's really an abundant meal. Then I find a dish that looks similar to a Korean dish. What's this? Ikan teri. We call this ikan teri in here. Ikan teri? Yes. Is this a traditional food in Indonesia? Uh, yes. Oh. This is a traditional food. Oh. Yes. It's my first time. I okay. Try. You can eat it. Bye bye, mabok. Just kidding. Oh, good. As I eat and laugh with them, the rugged journey ahead, which formerly was a source of fear, now seems like it will be a piece of cake. Afraid, of course, but I think that because we are 11 and we stay together until today, I think we can make it. At 11 p.m., the procession up to see the sunrise at Mount Sumero begins. People brush aside their sleepiness and ascend toward the center of the world. And I am a part of that procession.
However, Sumeru doesn't easily allow this climb. It is a steep sand mountain. Each step is aggravating. No matter how hard I try, it feels like I'm walking in place. The mountain seems to be pushing the people away. It has been five hours since our struggle with the steep, sandy mountain began. Before we know it, the red sun peeps over the horizon. Leaving those who have given up behind, I join the others who keep climbing toward the peak. Finally, I arrive at the summit, which I never thought I would be able to reach. The sunrise that I encounter at the center of the world is awe-inspiring. Wow, 드디어 정상에 왔어요. 아, 이 많은 사람들이 이 사람의 인생을 이 산에 비유하잖아요. 아, 정말 그런 것 같아요. 올라올 때는 너무 고생스럽고 힘들지만 이렇게 올라오니까 와, 이 희열을 뭐라고 이렇게 표현을 할 수가 없네요, 정말. 정말 최고예요. Everyone stores this breathtaking moment in their hearts in his or her own ways. You wait six years yes. to come here. Six years. I encountered the sunrise at the highest peak in Java, the land of fire. I will keep this overwhelming sense of awe forever in my heart and remember how the rugged breath of the earth seems to encompass my entire body. Yeah.